The difference between the high crop and the standard version are basically the tire sizes. Instead of 12s on the standard, it's 15s on the front here. And the back, a standard cub would have 24s and this one's got 30s. They've made a wide version, but we don't have the, the wide version components on this tractor. Got a one point fast hitch, something a little different. It goes, goes with our collection. Give you more clearance between your vegetables. They made a full row planter and cultivator set up for a cub with the wide version. And you could cultivate four, plant and cultivate four rows instead of one. And uh, mainly, you know, vegetables like carrots and onions and things like that. Just happened to be going down the road and looked over to the side and there it was. And we were, we were going to get a starter repaired. And on the way back, we stopped and made the deal with the man and it, that's how it wound up here. We put new front tires on it. The front tires, they had some cobbled up rims and car tires on it. So we got the original front 15 inch rims and new tires and the back tires were, were usable. And uh, basically it was a, a running tractor and we put the fast hitch on it and cleaned it up and gave it a coat of paint and some decals. And that uh, adjusts the, the level of your, your implement. You could, you know, like if you were plowing, you could put a little tilt to it or if you needed a level for a disc or whatever, you could adjust it, adjust it out level. The lever on the side by the fender is to nose the front down. If you were plowing with it and your front was too high, it wouldn't go in the ground. So you could lower that front down to where it would, where it would do a better job.